Hello and welcome back once again to the channel. We have a very special video for you today all about Bandai Namco's recent announcement of the absolutely ridiculous, over-the-top anime AF Captain Tsubasa Rise of New Champions, aka Anime Football the Game. Not only are we going to be talking about this game, but I will also be showing you my own gameplay because we're really lucky enough to play and record the game already. I handed down to London a few days ago to represent the channel for a showcase event at Bandai, and we were able to to check out some upcoming titles, including Captain Tsubasa. I had no idea what this game was at the time, and I'd never really known the name of the anime, but I was vaguely aware of the massive football manga anime that has existed since before I was born, and as it turned out, this was easily one of my favorite games at the event. So let's jump into this video and tell you what even is this game? This game adaptation of the original manga Captain Tsubasa at first looks like standard football with anime characters, and then that's instantly blown away by the ridiculous, hilarious, and honestly awesome special effects and abilities all the characters are making use of. As players literally summon giant magical beasts that smash the ball so hard that it warps the very shape of it, setting it on fire and shooting it forward at the speed of sound. So yeah, this actually isn't a normal football game. Zubasa follows the story of Zubasa Azora, an ambitious boy who wants to become a world champion football player. Captain of his team, he's striving for glory and greatness. You will see his friendship with his team, his rivalry with his opponents, and the training and all the competition involved with that. Comparable to a shonen anime, you'll watch the characters grow through trial and error, all the failure and success of trying to do something like this. Honestly, it's a really simple setup for a storyline, and it was originally created all the way back in 1981. However, the story and world is so successful that it sold over 80 million manga copies worldwide to this date, and yeah, to say the least, it's quite popular. While we haven't seen a proper Tsubasa game since 2006, since the PlayStation 2 version, the manga has seen multiple anime adaptations since its original release, and is set to be a massive success as an arcade for Football game. So let's get into the meat and bones of this very game then, since, you know, I've actually played it. We're able to do some quick matches against rather difficult AI and also against each other at the event. Instantly you can see that art style from the trailer is exactly what you get in the game. It actually looks like that, this explosion of colour, the crazy animations, and very nicely, it was really easy to pick up and play if you've ever played a football game before, ever. If we break down the game mechanics, you've got standard football moves like sprinting, passing, launching kicks of varied power based on how long you hold the kick button, you'll be tackling opponents to try and steal the ball, dodging around them, you'll be able to swap between players to position yourself to intercept, and you'll be making goal attempts just like regular football. But then you've got spirit, a sort of energy that all your players gather and spend, and that's where it gets really wild. Using this energy, I can blast for opponents trying to tackle me, knocking them flying out the way. As I chain more and more of these specials, I'm building up a sort of passive effect. Spirit is the best way I can describe this effect, though I don't know the official term. As I build it by spending energy, I'm able to get through harder defenses and unleash one of those anime F special shots, drawing out some kind of spiritual animal to help me smash the ball at the net. They all look phenomenal and hilarious, and let me tell you, the trash talk at the event while we're playing this was top tier. Not only will this spirit effect give you these anime shots, but it seems to have other bonuses too, like how these two players are bouncing off each other for the perfect attack in unison, a sort of duo press for the goal. Every now and then a quick animation playing to show how unstoppable they are, and unfortunately, that wasn't me playing this. I just couldn't stop them once they got going. On the bright side though, the goalkeepers in this world are perhaps the most Chad keepers known to man, literally diving in front of these wall shattering shots and somehow stopping them in exchange for their own energy bar. As you shoot more shots and whittle the goalkeeper's energy down, their defense will break and you will break past it to score those satisfying goals. Particularly good shots will, you know, result in a goal, but if you really want to use these spirit attacks and just smash through these poor goalkeepers, then that's how you want to do it. You want to break their energy. Some of the animations are too good. I mean, commendable, right, for this keeper to try to punch the ball <laughs> to stop it. And yeah, it turns out that wasn't going to work, mate. We've only had a few hours to try everything at the event, so I only managed to play a few games, and I know that there's going to be mechanics that I didn't get to try or see or understand yet, so I'm excited to hear more about this game and see more gameplay. I definitely can see myself playing this with friends or playing through a story mode to enjoy that original storyline that I never read or watched myself. We don't have confirmation about which game modes are going to be in the game, but I would say it's 
obvious that we'll get an offline match mode for local play, an online mode with hopefully some sort of rank system, and I do imagine we'll have some kind of story mode here, right? Maybe following that original manga, or, you know, maybe, since it does say Rise of New Champions in the title, perhaps there'll be a new storyline. I commend the visuals in this game, bringing that older 80s look to current day and age, and yet somehow making it look so, so good, and mechanically, it's really straightforward, with surprising depth and skill behind it once you get used to it. As someone who has never been that into football or football games, I'm weirdly looking forward to playing this football game. Have you guys heard of Captain Tsubasa before this? Out of all of sports anime, I'm aware of the swimming one, the couple boxing ones, and I knew there was a big football one, but I guess I just didn't know that it was Tsubasa. The game is set to release sometime in 2020 on PlayStation 4, PC, and the Switch, so hopefully we get more details soon, but for now, I've been Hollow, you've been you, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.